Okay, this is how to apply the 4 GHz overclock on the ECS A960 boards uh, with an FX CPU. Oh, I got an FX41 CPU in this computer, so let's go ahead and turn it on. And right when you start up, you're going to want to spam the delete key just to guarantee that you'll hit it as the BIOS loads up really quickly. Um, so once it starts up, okay, that's a split second where you need to hit the delete key, so that's why I just spam it. So this is the BIOS, it's just a bunch of tabs, you only need to use the keyboard, no mouse needed. And then you're going to go over to MIB3, go to processor, power planes, and voltage, and you're going to want to make the core clock multiplier. I've already applied the overclock. You're going to want to put it on 18 and a half. And then you can back out of there. And then you want to go down to this CPU reference clock. It should be at 200 on default. And you're going to go ahead and put it on 218. And what that's going to do is it's going to multiply the 18 and a half by 218. And that equals 4 point something. Um, which is what controls the clock speed. So you're going to go over to advanced because there's a couple more things you got to do. CPU configuration. You want to make sure all these are AMD cool and quiet, should be disabled. Core performance boost enabled. Core C6 state enabled. Enhance halt C1E disabled. And SP clock sped. Uh, sp spread spectrum disabled okay get out of there and then there's one more thing you have to do and that's back under MIB you want to make sure that this clock gen spread spectrum is disabled as well and that should be the only thing that you should do if you have reset to defaults those are the only changes that you need to make so just go and save the changes and exit. And then your overclock should be applied. Um, generally, when you're doing an overclock, you should always do it increment, like in tiny increments. Um, but if you have the same board and the same processor, you can go ahead and just put it to this because it's already been tested. I do this all the time on FX 4100s. They always work for those settings to get it up to 4 gigahertz. Um, it's actually more like 4.01, 4.02. It it every CPU is slightly different, so sometimes it's 01, sometimes it's 02. Um, generally, it's 02. Um, I'm not really sure exactly what it is in this one so we'll just see after it loads up um, but you can check that in uh, uh, just by hitting the start button go to computer and then up at the top you can do system properties so I just hit the Windows button go to computer and up at the top hit system properties and then it'll show you all the information so it is at 4.02 and if you want to check the heat you can install um, AMD overdrive and that's a great way to monitor your CPU uh, speeds and uh, mainly temperatures so, and then a benchmark it just to max out the CPU. You can load up Prime 95. Just max that out. Close these windows. This is AMD Overdrive. Go to CPU status. And then you can see all the cores at 4.02 gigahertz. And you can see the temperatures. So they're going to go up. <clears throat> I think I have the uh, stock heatsink in this one. So it should probably go up and go no higher than uh, 60 degrees centigrade. Um, so yeah, that's how you apply the overclock. Uh, thanks for watching.